All right, welcome back to Jump One Half. So when I was watching Cubic Tom's videos, I saw that there was a secret I missed way back at the beginning of the game. And on the way back there, I discovered that I was missing the Dragon Coins in this level. So I'm going to go back and grab these real quick. I already know how to get it because I saw it in his video, but at least I managed to uh, figure out the puzzle on my own while I was watching it before he did, so I at least don't feel like I just sponged off of whatever he figured out. <laughs> Alright, now let's go back to what I was originally going to check out, which is this Yoshi house. So, if I go back in here, we have the green switch palace now. We can also grab three lives, which is pretty helpful. And you can see there's a Yoshi up there, but he actually drops a P-switch, which I can hit to make that door down there. So let's go in there. Whoa, been a little dome music for some reason. And it looks like we have. These red shoes allow you to walk faster on the overworld. This is a power-up that was there in the original jump, and it was very nice. Since this is very beginning of the game, I probably have the dragon coins I need for all of these things, if there's more. We also get our very own top secret area. And apparently there's an exit over there too, which I kind of expected because... Oh, looks like it's a bit more complicated than just an exit. Oh, okay. So... I can only hit the on-off switch once. Hint, observe the coo blue Koopa while you're powering up. While I'm powering up? Oh, he slides backwards a bit. So maybe I have to swap between power-ups really quickly. Well, I don't even have to do it quickly. Okay, so I just need to make sure the blue Koopa beats the disco shell to the to the red shell so that he can kick it into the on-off switch. Okay, um... <laughs> wow. Alright. So he just walks over to this red shell, and there we go. And he dies for his trouble, and I hit the reset door because I'm stupid. <laughs> I... Oh, yeah, I've got to go back through the pipe, obviously. Wait a minute. Oh, and then the disco shell hits the on-off switch as well. Wow, that was a neat little puzzle. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting to just get a goal and that would be it. I ended up with no Yoshi from that, but whatever. Which is, I suppose, ironic considering it's his house. But maybe he'll just continue living there. I don't know. Arduous Harbor, created by Jibri Sunset and Miracle Water. I get the impression that this level is going to be kind of a thing. And there's no Yoshis, so it doesn't matter that I didn't get one. Inexplicable gimmick. If you jump out of the water, you will go higher. <laughs> didn't even try to explain it. Alright, let's grab myself the cape, so that I have a bit more time to react to things. Wow, that is just weird. Especially since the arc is really strange. Like, you just seem to float there for a second, instead of... Oh, well, I don't need that this time around, at least. Can I... Okay, spin jumping out of the water is fine, which is probably easier here. Let's do that. Whoa, I go flying after I bounce. Is that because I jumped out of the water first, or would that happen even if I jumped off of land? Oh, maybe this is going to tell me about that. Red dolphins hurt to touch, but are spin jumpable. High jumps will be preserved until you're touching the ground. Okay, cool. So that is very much an intended gimmick of the level. I wouldn't have expected anything different, but... I discovered it just a little bit earlier than was intended, I suppose. Boink. Okay, this time I'm not spin jumping. Forget that guy, I've got a cape. I don't even need that. Oh, I guess I... If I wanted to preserve my high jumping a little bit longer, I probably shouldn't have hit that platform. Okay. In order to avoid going flying, I gotta bounce into the block. And I gotta do the same thing with this guy. Okay. 
Avoid the pencil. There we go. Whoa. Then do that. It's a lot easier with the cape. Though I think I would have made it even without the cape there. Alright, so let's just get rid of this block. And keep going. I can just use the cape for that, so I broke the puzzle. I thought the block was just meant to be an obstacle, but I guess that probably wasn't it. Oh, okay, this is gonna be weird. I can't get this high. And then it'll spawn a fish behind me as well. Okay, that works. And th those are actually infinite, which is cool. Whoa, I did not react very well to that fish, even though I had plenty of time to do it. Alright, we hit a midpoint. From tapping through his video, I think there are three sections to this level, so I'll call that the first uh, midpoint. I didn't actually look at the level or anything. Whoa, this is weird. I didn't actually look at the level or anything, but I could at least tell when he was going through sections, because it would be the same thing over and over again <laughs> for a while. Okay, I could hit that with the cape. Whoa, okay, I'm not going to, though. Go down, there we go. Unfortunately, I can't duck jump out of the water. Boink. I really- oh, shoot. I should have just landed on the dry bones and kept going upward. I need something to throw up into that on-off block, which is probably what I need to go into the pipe for, and I just spawned that fish, which is pretty great. Also, I see that there's just... that was a dry bones because... Okay, so how is this supposed to work? Oh! It follows me! Okay, that works too. Alright, let's just get it a little bit higher, and then I'll make my move next time. Boink, boink, use the cape. Whoa, that was close. I didn't- I was not paying enough attention to the saw there. Alright, this time we go as high as possible, and we're good. Let's just wait for the larger gap. And now I just need to go up here when the time is right. There we go. Since you move upwards so slowly when you're jumping out of the water like that, you have plenty of time to aim for the pipe. Oh, and there goes my key. Let's see if I can spawn this fish. No, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. No. <laughs> Dang it. That cape was really huge, so I really hope I make it. Oh, there we go, I made it to the 1-up checkpoint, which is what I was really hoping to do. Oh, and hey, it's actually ground down there. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, I'm dumb. I needed to continue bouncing. Get back on screen, you. Let's keep going. Oh shoot, I did not think that one through. I should have just gone straight over that guy because I needed to bounce on the disco. I should have landed on the munchers too. That would have been better. Hang on, shouldn't there be some sort of... I saw one up mushroom. Oh, okay, it just allows me to skip that room. Better than nothing, I suppose. All right, let's let's be a little bit smarter this time. Easiest disco riding ever. I say before I almost just go and die. Oh hey, thanks other disco. These are the friendliest discos in the entire game. I'm sure of it. Okay, so I don't know what the point of that is for. I guess it's just in case I had the switch wrong earlier, which means we're going to be using the switch in this section for something. For what? I don't know. Oh, maybe it's to... Maybe I want to avoid going too high here. But if I just tap the button, maybe I'm good? Okay, I don't think there's any way to avoid getting up here, so I do have to land on that platform to remove my high spin jumps. And then here's what this switch is for. Okay. Okay, that was weird. Okay, doing a re-grab there makes things a lot easier. Just do that now. And it's much easier to get up there now. 
Hey, we did it, and this allows me to get the 50. Wow, I actually got it too. <laughs> it's always cool when that happens because it's pretty rare. I remember in the VIP series, I was trying to get a 50 for the longest time, and even in the level where you can just walk straight up to it, it took me ages. And now I get to skip all the way to the Desert Artillery Range. But I'm going to be going back this way because we got to go back to this pipe. And to Paraplegic Olympics by FT. There's a video for this level. I'm really interested to see what this is about because it's probably something really weird. Oh, I can't actually... Oh, I can't swim. I have to bounce. Point of advice, hold up or down to control the head of your bounce. Okay, so I can still do high or low swimming if I want to. Okay, good. That guy didn't go all the way down. I don't know how I get to those. Oh boy. Oh boy, I did not control that as well as I should have. Alright, so I probably want to bounce off of this guy and go up to the dragon Oh, I just can't make it. I'm assuming there's no trick to this. Nothing I can do, do to get just a little bit of extra height out of this. I'm trying to think. I assume I have to come back through a yellow pipe later. Maybe it's that yellow pipe over here. No, I can't make it up to that either. Thankfully I was able to swim under the fish there. Keep going, keep going. Okay, maybe I have to go back with this Yoshi. Oh gosh, I got hit. Okay, so I can just stop going up halfway through a bounce too, that's important. Dang it. Well, that didn't work at all. Maybe I want to bounce off of this block. Oh, okay, that doesn't really work like I thought it would. Can I jump off of Yoshi, I'm wondering? I cannot jump off of Yoshi, that's good to know. But the problem is, even if I get rid of these fish... Like, I can't bounce on them. And that's not quite high enough. And when I got hit, I gained a bit of extra height, but the fish aren't high enough for me to use that to get into the... Wait, am I going higher? I think I'm always going to be just a little bit shy. Oh, I guess I still have to hold bounce. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, so if you hold up when you get knocked off of Yoshi, you end up going really high. I didn't know that at all. Alright, just bounce off the edge of that, Chuck. Whoa, that guy went flying. Hold up here. Gotta land on the disco. Oh, wow. The other one came in and killed that guy, so I just... Whoa, okay, did not react to that in time. Okay, I guess I gotta keep going up. Bounce off the spring, and... Oh boy. <laughs> that was a twist I wasn't expecting. Alright, so somehow I made it to the midpoint. That's good to know. I'm assuming I come out of that orange pipe, have to dodge the spike balls again. Okay. Okay, that, I tried to save it by hitting the saw and having something jank happen, but I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> okay, just hold down and we're good. Oh, I gotta go through this pipe and not do that. I gotta wait an extra cycle there, I suppose. And gotta walk a little bit faster there. What? I was holding up. Why didn't it go? Wait until the last second, and no, I gotta float over to the platform too. That's pretty cool. Dang it, the fish was not timed well there, and I did not react fast enough to... Okay, go 
go around him. That's pretty close. <laughs> to the right, to the left. Um, okay, just go up. There's no reason to land on that note block. Wait, how do I get off of this? Oh boy. Alright, I need to avoid the fence. I have to go around the fence and then stop holding the button. Okay, that's, that works. I probably want to go to the right of the fish so that it's timed well, so that I can go to the left of the fish and do that. Uh, that guy is timed alright, but it doesn't matter because I messed it up. Oh boy, he climbed a little bit uh, slower than I was expecting. Maybe I should just get off on this ledge here. Uh, that's easier. That's easier to time. Very close. I released holding the button a little bit too late. Well, not sure how I did that. Okay, this time we wait for the fish. And then, there we go, that's a lot better. Now just hold down, because I can easily make this holding down. Oops, that was a mess. Well, at least I get another mushroom here, so I'm not hitless. I'm holding up there, I don't know if that actually matters. Alright, grab the fence, I don't want to go down the hole. There we go, made it that time. That is pretty tight. But the punishment for failing isn't too severe. Oh, I gotta hit all those blocks. Dang it, I did not do that very well. Hopefully it doesn't matter that much. Hopefully it's just for like a one-up or something. Okay, so I'm assuming that I need to... What do I need to do there? I guess I gotta land on him once he's on this ledge. Unfortunately, I shouldn't have landed on this ledge. Is this a reset? Maybe the blue blocks are telling me it's a reset. Okay, good. So, do a regular bounce over that guy. High bounces to get these two blocks. Gotta do another high bounce to get over the fish. And another high bounce. So let's just do low bounces until I can go. And then, what am I supposed to- Oh, I'm supposed to hold this guy. That was stupid. Oh, then I gotta throw him. <laughs> that was close. And then I gotta catch him again. Alright, it's kinda tough, but I don't actually die for failing here, so... And I won't take the hit that I did last time, but I feel stupid for wasting my power up. Dang it, I was too slow, apparently. There, we just do that this time, and then... Throw this guy over to the left, and just do a regular bounce off of it this time. Now we hold this guy through here. Go left and right, dodge around the munchers, and there we go. <laughs> Handicap symbol. Okay, so I guess I can use the dolphin. Oh, it didn't really work. Well, it got me across the gap. It didn't get me to a possible 50. I felt like there was a 50 puzzle there somewhere, but I did not find it. Oh, I thought this was taking me to the Switch, but it's taking me to this ghost house. Maybe I need to go through a couple more levels to get to the Switch. Party in the House by FT again. Lots of FT today, apparently. Wait, I didn't get those Dragon Coins. Well, I gotta go back and get them. Oh, it's an invisible level. Is this solid? No. Better to know now than die later into the level to it. Even if that would have killed me there too, <laughs> if it was. Alright, just kill you. So far this is just some straightforward platforming, which is not what we've seen from FT so far in this game. <laughs> yeah, I did not quite make it. That's okay, I needed to go back and get the dragon coin. Dragon coins, plural. Okay, good, I almost didn't make that. Alright. Okay, those are resets, which is good. I don't know what happens if I lose my Yoshi, though. Alright, I want to go left here. Whoa, that was a little bit faster than I was hoping for. Alright, let's go into the reset zone. 
Okay, and I even get a mushroom too, so I'm unlikely to actually die in here. I just need to make it. There we go. Because I'm not bouncing off the flames immediately this time, I actually get a moment to react to where I need to go. And then we just hold up here and continue going, and now we have our dragon coins. Nice. That was actually easier than I expected. I thought that might actually be a pain, but it worked out pretty well. Now back to party in the house. Now that I'm not distracting, but not distracted trying to remember to go to get those dragon coins, I should hopefully be able to do a little bit better. So far I think I've only seen those disco shells on the red platform, so maybe that's a pattern? I don't know. Or maybe it's just happenstance that he's doing it every other time. I don't know. Whoops, that was not very well thought out. Alright, get a little bit more momentum this time. That guy can go off the ledge. Grab another mushroom and we're back up to full power-ups. Whoa, I gotta deal with a few here. Yeah, it's kinda hard to jump before I actually know where to land. No, 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 go in. <laughs> oh, and now it's scrolling differently. But I got myself a midpoint, so that's cool. And I fell right off. That earlier section was pretty cool. You. You get a little bit less time to react, but you still have plenty of time to react. It's just a little bit scary. This section is kind of tricky because you don't really have a good frame of reference. Whoops. When it's dark, at least. And the momentum of these platforms is really strange, too. It's something you can't actually see. Alright, so if I, I want to stay approximately under the power-up box, so I should probably aim for that. Dang, the momentum is really weird when you jump off of these things. You really need to be moving right, right off the bat. Wow, that was bad. <laughs> yeah, you gotta jump late there, but that's jumping late there isn't easy. Wait for that one. Wow, that is pretty tight. Alright, do this again. Ah, oh, that didn't work. shouldn't have aimed for my reference point there. There, I at least have a power-up this time. Oh, that's the end. And there's a pop-up one-up mushroom. I don't need the mushroom at all, but whoa. Okay, it's a Big Boo fight. In the house. In the party. Big Boo has joined the party, and I can't grab that block, apparently. Dang it. I was hoping there was an opening there. There we go. I hit him once at least. I've used up a lot of the really good blocks though, so that sucks. I can't see him. I don't know where he is. Got him. I had a pretty good idea of where he had floated off to, so I was hoping I could just smack him there. Ah! I must have been just to the right of the platform. Oh, good, the door's right here. I was thinking, maybe it was in the other room, maybe I just walked straight by it, but actually that doesn't make sense, because then it would just lead to the same place. I took a YOLO and it didn't work. Dang it, that was not good. I probably shouldn't have grabbed that block either, but it's hard to get this one, so I wanted to grab it early. Gotcha. Whoa.
Whoa, grab the block, Luigi. Kind of need that thing. Just duck under you. Take the hit. Don't even care at this point. Big Boo is dead. I just wanted to make sure that I absolutely lined that block up correctly. So I just ignored the roto disc and hit him. Well, that was a... That was actually pretty tough. Also a pretty nice darkness level. The sections were short, and so it, it wasn't too frustrating to redo things. A la recherche du good pedu, something like that. I don't remember how to pronounce the second last word. <laughs> Lazy! So, the title means something like searching for something lost. So far, the thing that was uh, lost seems to be levels with uh, leeway for mistakes. And I think we found one <laughs> with leeway for mistakes. This level has actually been really straightforward so far. Whoops, that was dumb. Did not react to that well. See ya. Be a little bit more patient. I knew that was coming that time. Makes it a lot easier to deal with. I d probably don't want that shell. I feel like I might need to bounce on things in this level. How do I get... Oh. Whoa, that was weird. Alright, there we go. I w and now we can use the one that's higher to get up. Just walk between the clouds. Goodbye. Okay. Let's just wait for them to be at the bottom with good timing, and this should be good. I don't know what happens if I fall, I probably just have to go back. I doubt it's gonna... let me go forward. See you later. And that guy just digs straight up through the pipe, which is weird. But I suppose it does make sense since it's a pipe, in particular. I suppose that thing's to delay me so I can't just go fast and avoid all the Chuck's rocks that way. Okay, we gotta move. And then jump around this guy, which I did not do very well. That's a pretty classic Dragon Coin setup. <laughs> I have time to wait, so let's do that. I've got all the time in the world since there's no time around this level. So, it's not like I'm even sacrificing to wait here. Oh. I think I can just jump to get that. Let's get it before the midpoint so that it'll save it, and I don't have to get it every time because that would just be annoying. Digger's Dormitory. Are there going to be, like, a whole bunch of moles in here? Oh, whoa. That's actually... <laughs> it's not like in Smobex where things are often just the background. So wait. Is here the way on, or... Is this a way to a dragon coin puzzle? Let's try going in here. Hey, looks like they're having fun down there. And I found a mushroom, which is cool. Looks like it's a puzzle to get the fire flower. And then I lose the mushroom to get the fire flower. And if I go fast... No, that doesn't really work. Maybe this will be an opportunity to test out the cool new Fire Flower power-up. Oh, I gotta use this to kill the Charlie. Get through here. And then who knows what. Gotta have my reacting pants on right now. I actually kinda wish I was throwing fireballs right now when I was bouncing. That pipe can't be useful for anything, so... Well, I guess unless it was just led to a dragon coin room or something. I mean, it was a little bit out of place looking, so maybe it really did do that. Almost made it past that guy. Okay, we need to do this to send the rocks up, and then go- Oh, okay, that didn't work. <laughs> I thought they'd stay in the water for a little bit longer, but they didn't take my time and it works nicely. Okay, your rocks go backwards, so... I 
Alright, I can just wait around for- Oh, you're actually done throwing. I'll take that. Easy to kill that guy with the power-up. That would never have worked without it, so that power-up's already coming in handy. Whoa, and it just went flying. I saw it coming, though, so it didn't hit me. There's the power coming in handy again. Never could have hit that Koopa without it. And do not spin jump over that rock. That would be a very career-limiting move there. <laughs> Point of advice. Race this rock to the top. If it gets too far ahead, you lose. Okay. Okay, so the rock's not going to move very fast. It's not like it's shooting up <laughs> or anything, so I'm... I should have lots of time to get ahead as long as I react well. Hit the block. Keep going. Oh, those fireballs disappeared when they hit the cloud for some reason. I wasn't expecting that. See ya. Whoa, that's not what I was expecting either. Oh no, that's not good. I'm gonna die. I guess I just need to kill myself in this pit now. <laughs> I probably should have expected these to be snake blocks, but I really didn't. Bop the block, bop the rock, I mean. Alright, I need to Yoshi jump here. I'm not sure... Oh, okay, I just needed that thing to not res despawn, because I need it there to bounce up here. Nice. And I even have my mushrooms, so I can go and get this one up. Wow, that was that was definitely a level with a really solid difficulty curve, because it starts out really easy as you get used to the gimmicks and the rocks and stuff, and then it becomes... Wow, more non-English. I think I don't have enough time for today, so... On the search for nothing for something lost is going to be the last level I do for today. But uh, Lol Yoshi and Six Corby will get their turn tomorrow. So see you next time.